Hello guys, welcome all of you. Myself Dr. Nilofa. I'm a bioinformatics scientist at Biotechnica. In this particular video, we are all going to discuss about the importance of genomics databases and their application in modern research. Discussing ahead as a quick overview regarding introduction to genomics databases. So I hope that you all of you know about the role of genomics with respect to the big data analysis majorly for the sequencing of human genome. So as we know that the genomics data is one of the big data analysis or the complex information available within the genome of an organism. So to analyze that specific gene with respect to the genomic sequencing, we need to understand from where exactly the data can be retrieval using bioinformatics databases. So in bioinformatics databases, we have certain databases which are specifically designed to retrieve, analyze, and also interpret the large big data or as the complex biological information in the form of genomics data. So genomics databases are essential resource in the modern research. Modern research are nothing but where we are taking help of high throughput techniques and the tools where we can process our data in meaningful information. So this databases will providing an access for the large or vast amount of genetic information. So those genetic informations are irrespective towards the species what you are interested. So this presentation will explore you guys with respect to the importance as well as the innovation with the application of this databases and then highlighting its significance in advancing biomedical research to design a more prescribed or else personalized medicine. Discussing ahead, understanding about genomics databases. So as a researcher, as a bioinformatics researcher, you all have to be aware about which are those specific databases available to retrieve the biological information in the form of genomics data. So genomics databases is specifically designed to collect, store, manage the genetic information from various organisms. So here guys, you all of you can work with respect to the multiple organism or is the species of your interest. And you all of you can go deeper inside to understand the biological world with respect to its mechanisms and then target the specific potential information where you can look for better finding. So this databases specifically with the biological information in the form of genomics databases has facilitates the analysis of genetic variations and helps the researchers in understanding the genetic basis of disease. So it's ultimately leading to the innovation in diagnostics as well as the therapeutic application. Moving ahead, the key innovations in the genomics data. So basically, where we are looking towards the key innovations is nothing but looking towards the most important high throughput techniques, such as the recent innovation of genomics in the form of next generation sequencing and including the CRISPR-Cas9 technique. So these two techniques has played a very good role to go deeper insights with respect to the biological information and pull out the vast amount of data with more prescribed finding. So this advancements has make a revolutionizing data acquisition, data manipulation and also enabling the researchers to explore the genomics or else the genome at unpredictable, deep and accurate findings with respect to the vast amount of omics data. So discussing ahead as we have the genomics databases which is as follow such as Ensemble database. So Ensemble database is one of the important database where you will get the information about the genomics data with respect to the vertebrates and other eukaryotic species. 
so this this database will provide an platform where the researchers can search visualize the genomic information including the gene annotations related elements and its types of variants so the next is ucsc genome browser ucsc genome browser is highly customizable genome browser where the researchers can explore and understand the genomic information by visualizing the genome of their interest including that you can even perform the interactive analysis of genomics data with respect to the multiple data sets of your interest next is tcga database tcga database is considered as a, one of the large scale database which consists of comprehensive information about the genomics data with its genetic mutations so basically it's provide you a multiomics data analysis for the various cancer type of your interest and it do have certain interactive tools where you can specifically go deeper insights of the genomics data and then pull out the various cohort samples of your interest including that you can even perform certain visualizations and the interpretations can be done based on the specific cancer type and the species of your interest so majorly here you will get to know the patient data that is clinical data with respect to the phenotypic informations and even the genotypic informations of the genomics data sets so this is a, one of the highly recommended database for the genomics data analysis followed with that we have the geo database that is a gene expression omnibus this database provides uh, information for the researchers to retrieve the gene expression data so basically this is a very good database where you can retrieve the expression informations of genes with respect to the um, specific samples of your interest so it is one of the important database where you will get the data sets of the high throughput sequencing of gene data specifically the gene expression analysis genomics and including the transcriptomic study so as a researchers you can just start your genomics data processing using the geo database where you can retrieve the gene expression information of the samples including their particular cohort samples here you all of you can get the information of the specific disease with respect to the samples including the expression value using the high throughput techniques such as the rna sequence analysis array expression microarray analysis so these are the different techniques you can include with respect to the gene expression data and followed with that you can even perform ahead multiple visualizations analysis and interpretations next is thousand genome project in the thousand genome project it's one of the large scale projects that sequence the genome of more than 1000 individual human humans so it's a better to understand the genetic variations across the population so again it's one of the good database where you can explore thousand genome projects of human including the types of variants and get to know deeper insights with respect to the cohort analysis discussing the applications in genomics data for drug research specifically with respect to the disease type of our interest discussing about the future directions in genomics so uh, ultimate by learning the genomics databases and the genomic information based on that application in disease re research as well as the future application so we all have to know like what exactly uh, we have to understand more about the genomics data so that it will help us to make the more prescribe uh, findings uh, by integrating the advanced techniques such as the future of genomics lies in integration of ai and machine learning with genomics databases so as we have discussed that application of uh, genomics with respect to the disease research Uh, one of the approach we found about the biomarker discovery or else designing the targeted therapy so ultimately guys like if you just um, 
use the advances of the techniques such as artificial intelligence for predictive analysis and machine learning for modeling so we can even come up by uncovering the patterns of large data and analyze with respect to the multi omics screening so it will have definitely a clinical applications where you guys can develop a more prescribed kind of uh, drug target by studying its clinical significance and you can even look ahead for the uh, predictive or as the prognostic kind of biomarkers can be even designed so ultimately uh, we have to like pull out the important data where the big data analysis with respect to the clinical uh, feature analysis can be done so uh, the future directions with respect to the artificial intelligence and machine learning will help us to uh, study the genotypic and phenotypic patterns of the data and then uh, the applications or the outcome what we can come up with is nothing but the prognostic biomarker identifications predictive biomarker identifications diagnostic biomarker identifications or as drug target identifications by screening based on machine learning or ai based approach so this is ultimately the future direction of genomics data where the large data sets can be processed and then we can find out the uh, screening of the large patterns of the data is nothing but we can uncover the features which are having the co relation and then we can even perform the data analysis based on the more predictive analysis So as we have discussed about the uh, genomics data will come up with respect to the big data analysis a complex data processing so definitely uh, there is one of the challenges to manage certain data so while managing a vast amount of genomics data uh, the one of the present challenges to deal with respect to the data storage data accessibility and data analysis so even that challenges can be get overcome but as a researcher we have to know what are the challenges of every domain with respect to the data sets what we are handling so data storage is nothing but it contain the different file formats right a different standard file formats are there with the genomic data analysis so we need this certain data to get stored with the standard file formats and that data can be lead ahead for processing okay so that that data can be processed with respect to their analysis and the visualizations with more prescribed tools where a bulk or as a large data can be processed and according to the processing of the data a certain tools we need right where uh, the data correlation data analysis and the data visualizations can be done and more important challenge is regarding the accessibility of the genomics data as we have discussed about the genomics data will studying with respect to the genomics information about genes and the sample is nothing but the genotypic as well as the phenotypic study so certain data based on the sequencing technique it's challenged to retrieve the information means measure of the data will be in the form of control access so how to get the control access data and then using a raw data right how the proper curations of the data sets can be done so that is a one of the major challenge with respect to the genomics analysis but guys remember if the challenges are there definitely the solutions are also there okay so you ha all have to little bit upgrade yourself and understand how these things can be overcome and that things can be done uh, by addressing those challenges right uh, by looking towards the utility of certain genomics databases and how it can be used for the research and the clinical outputs and for that you have to start exploring certain more bioinformatics tools coding platforms Uh, algorithms designing okay basically the algorithms the pipelines are there so you have to understand how you to utilize those kind of algorithms pipeline uh, to process the data in very efficient manner so the overall conclusion is as follow so leveraging the genomics databases is a vital for advancing the modern research so by embracing the innovations and addressing the challenges we can unlock the full potential of genomics okay it will ultimately help us to give a, a road map right where we can just set up the findings with respect to the data processing analysis visualizations and even 
get the data with respect to integration of significant or as highly uh, integrated techniques such as AI, that is artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques. So how to utilize these techniques to break through the healthcare and the biomedical sciences with the more prescribed findings and future applications such as drug discovery, biomarker identifications, and even integrate with AI and ML techniques with more predictive analysis. So the overall uh, discussion is dealing with respect to the genomics databases, their importance with the modern research application. So I hope that all of you get an overview regarding the same. Definitely it's a basic overview, but to get to more insights about the same, you all of you can definitely join our internship programs, which we are conducting with Biotechnica, such as Next Generation Sequencing Analysis Internship, Drug Discovery Internship, AI ML based on drug discovery with the biological data, and definitely Bioinformatics Global Internship Program. So if you have any questions and inquiry, you can definitely comment below or else you can drop your questions to Biotechnica email ID. Thank you.